No more Daddy Max, all right? With these jugs, Mommy Max will on. So a lot of people, they're like, oh, I've just been having shit workouts recently. Like, I just want to quit going to the gym. Where are we going, Max? Where are we going? We're going to the gym. The old grunge gym. Oh, shit. So, behind the scene footage. Uh-oh, busted. <laughs> busted. I, I have something in here. Oh, shit. Uh-oh, busted. busted. Look what we have here. Oh, shit. It might be a little too late to take this, but you know what we're going to oh, do? We're going to no. do two scoops. <sighs> Just one, one second. One second. Give me one second. You may be like, what the hell, you're literally in your garage and you're making, mixing pre-workout in the car? Mm -hmm. You haven't even left yet, what's the purpose of doing that? Well, I've seen all the other influencers, quote unquote, doing this in the car, and god damn it, I want to fit in! <laughs> so, we're going to be mixing up a couple scoops of euphoria into this already mixed package of water plus creatine. So here we go. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit, yeah. Oh. Right by the nut sack too. Just, you know, that's the fastest delivery to your body via ball sack, so. A little bit of light here. So yeah, we're going to the gym. We're gonna go on the road, you know, bust out some non-DMCA mm -hmm. compliant tunes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And during that procedure, you guys cannot be here. I wish you guys could. I wish I could just, you know, Uber you guys around like little children going to daycare. But yeah. We gotta renew the membership, so let's fucking go, baby. You gotta, you gotta adjust exposure too. All right, as you can see, we're here. We're here, baby. Hassle because I forgot my key, but we're here. This is a goddamn mix bench over here. Fucking make a bench, bro. Look at this red bar, yellow rack, yellow shirt. Fuck, dude. Listen, no more Daddy Max, all right? With these jugs, Mommy Max and all. Come on. I could probably adopt a newborn and just breastfeed him. 
Look at the genetics, bro. Insane. He thinks he can cut the video. Only I can cut the video. No, We're not cutting after that. <laughs> or it's gonna make it really awkward. Dude, they moved the T-bar row. Remember the sick back shot where we were like on the T-bar row? It's different lighting now. It used to be under this, but now it's under this one. So we'll see how the footage is. So a lot of people, you know, they're like, oh, I've just been having shit workouts recently. Like, I just want to quit going to the gym. Like, okay. The amount of muscle stimulus you actually need, you know, the amount of stimulus that your muscle actually needs to grow the muscle, let alone just maintain it for extended periods of time, is so, so minuscule. I think many people are just, like, overdoing it. They think they need to absolutely kill themselves every workout, which I'm in that boat. I like to work out till failure every single time. I am no different than any of you guys that say this. But, you know, you have to keep in mind that, like, the amount of actual work that your muscles need to be doing is so, so minuscule. So it's fine if you literally have, you know, even months, months of extended, prolonged, like, shit workout time where you're just not feeling it. Like, it will come back around. I've had plenty of phases where I'm just out of the gym, not really feeling it. You know, I pick up another hobby, like, oil painting. Like, last summer, literally all summer... I was oil painting. I barely worked out the entire summer. It tends to come and go. It tends to come and go, right? Like, I I feel extremely motivated for the gym right now, and I don't think I'll give it up completely, but it's fine if it takes a back seat for a while. It's just, the key is consistency. The key is consistency, and if you're doing something that's not sustainable, like killing yourself every single fucking workout without recovering, obviously it's not sustainable. You are going to burn out. Trust me, you are going to burn out no matter what you think. You will burn out. So yeah, make sure whatever you're doing, you know, food-wise, sleep-wise, water-wise, what you're actually doing in the gym-wise, recovery time-wise, make sure that's sustainable and that you can see yourself doing it in the prolonged future. Because again, consistency is literally everything when it comes to muscle growth. I just have to drill that into your guys' heads. So yeah, pep talk over. See ya. Wrecked and raged. Everybody says that this is fucking crazy. I've only done like one scoop of it. So we're going to try out two scoops. I know Max Taylor lifts. I know he swears by this, like this is literally what made him switch over to wrecked. So, or not wrecked, to huge supplements. So we're gonna put two scoops in to try it out, you know? Good enough. You know what they say, good enough. Flavor taste? Mm. Let's go deadlift some shit. It's been about a month and a half, two months, Joe? Yeah, That's probably. Good. So let's just see how it goes, bro. Let's just see how well, it fucking go. goes, let's go. Jamie's here. Haven't deadlifted in, in fucking two months, bro. Two months, no deadlift. Ten times deadlift total, probably. Five plates. Maybe next time, or maybe right now, actually. We'll calculate what, what we need.
that was probably fucking atrocious. That was brutal. You know, last time I went for a PR here and I dropped it because my form was shit, but I just wanted to get that shit out, bro. Enough of that. God damn. Chalked up hands, baby. Alright, so my previous PR was 455. Um, this is probably five plates because the plates are heavy. I'd say average like one and a half pounds extra, maybe. So we're gonna count them up as we're taking it off. It better be five plates, otherwise, I don't know what I would do. Bro, this is gonna be over. This is gonna be. It's gonna be over five plates. Forty. All right. So I very tediously wrote down all the weights in my little notes here. I'm missing 145 I have to write down. Well, calculate it out, calculate it out. All right, so plus 45. All right, Joseph's got the calculator okay. here. So five plus I have five. chalk and everything. I have chalk in his camera, everything, bro. Chalk in my weenie, everything. Dude, this is a life or death situation. Should we just average the plates? Yeah. All the plates together? Yeah, we should probably, yeah, I have to. All right, so essentially there's three plates without a weight written on it. That's the exact weight. We're gonna average all the weights that we got here and then calculate it out and then say that's the weight that I pulled. Um, we're 2.5 pounds off without averaging out and they're average like maybe a pound and a half over. So yeah, we're gonna calculate it out and weigh myself. All right, official technical analysis weight, 497. So we have two pounds of leeway plus the clips. We are not including these, so pretty fucking close. I'm pretty sure I got it. If we weighed, if we literally had the bar on a scale, I think I would've gotten it. I'm calling it, baby, I'm calling it. So yeah, fuck yeah. All right, scientific weight analysis time. Let's see. Let's see if we just broke a world record for deadlift. All right, Joe first, because we can't be holding the camera. Come on, get those shoes off, bro. That's just cheating. Good luck, good luck. And the headphones, bro. This dude's, this dude literally has his headphones and she shoes on, bro. He probably has a gold nugget in his fucking pocket, dude, bro. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? 130.0. I pissed right. two times here, so that should be pretty... Double pisser. Pretty fair. These Gymshark pants. These Gymshark pants, the material's very light and very durable, so it won't add much weight while maintaining its rigidity and structure. And they look fucking awesome, so link in the description, baby. First link. Let's see. Bones to truth. What? Fat ass, dude. Holy shit, you're a fat ass. Yeah. Me? 181? I would have expected to be 190, honestly. Thinking myself feels like I'm a naughty boy on this machine for <sighs> full stack. Exercise. No more. That's how you do it around here. In all seriousness, I'm very exhausted. This machine is very cumbersome. Quite frankly speaking, I'm tired. <laughs> this one's for the fans. I see the comments about Joseph. I know what y'all want. <laughs> 